So today we're at uh, the China Beijing International Airport. Uh, I just came out of the the customs, which is so noisy. Hence, wearing these things like now before the plane, because everything's just big noise. There's a lot of people in China, 1.4 billion or something. I broke my glass, a very expensive glass, but uh, luckily it's not glass that broke. It's the filter. And I must look so constipated, I just can't remove the filter. Today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try the Quest. Can you use the Quest inside an airplane toilet? Mm. Can you? Is it big enough? Can the Guardian, is it lit well enough? Is the Guardian going to track my movement? And uh, which toilet in the plane works best? Because I know that different toilets in different parts of the plane are smaller than the others. I think the back toilet is the biggest one, isn't it? Hmm. Or maybe I can slide into the premium suite toilet. Maybe I can be cheeky and do that. I don't know. Let's go. I'm trying to find gate E9. I'm literally like five minutes away from the plane taking off. All right, so we have about three minutes before my plane takes off. And I just, right, let me go into the light here. It's a nice light. I just forgot my bag at the Crystal Gym. I ran about 200 meters. All right, got two minutes until the plane leaves. Let's go. Okay, we're on the, uh, this is not sponsored at all. We are in the smallest toilet I could possibly find at the back of the plane in economy class, um, going from China to Singapore. First of all, oof, what a doozy that whoever came here before me did. It's very smelly down here, but luckily I found I found this. Mm, this smells very nice and I you know sprayed it a bit. So let me just set up and uh, let's get on with it. Alright. It's powering on. I have a lot of light here, so I know that uh, to do the Guardian is going to be very easy. Controller is not found. Found them. Okay, create Guardian. Ooh, let's go. Let's do this. So now I have the. I'm going to do the Guardian. So I can actually see through the Oculus, of course. Uh, it's like black and white, and it's asking me to create the Guardian. So I'm going to create the Guardian. Okay. Now it's telling me where is the floor. Now actually, it doesn't recognize where the floor is. Uh, it thinks that the floor is uh, around my, let's say around my knee. It doesn't go all the way to the floor. It thinks that the floor is basically the sink and the toilet bowl. So the sink and the toilet bowl. Uh, but let's just uh, see. Let me let me climb on the toilet bowl. Of course, I can I can see, so it's not a problem. Let me see if it goes down. No, now now I'm actually on the floor because I'm on the toilet bowl, and the guardian thinks that the toilet bowl, oops, is the floor. So uh, let's just create, let's just confirm, uh, let's just reset. No, it doesn't go further down. It really just thinks. Oh, now it's higher. Oh, I can bring it down with my remote. Okay, so now what it's telling me is, uh, so I went, I bent down with the remote uh, to the floor. So now, now we're level at the floor itself. So that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> but it's telling me your playing area is less the minimum than the minimum required size of one by one meter. So one square meter. Uh, you can clear more space and redraw your playing area or continue with a boundary for sitting or standing experiences only. So let's just continue. So now, oh, I can see my guardian, okay. But the thing is, my my guardian is actually, basically my guardian is, is bigger than the size. So I can actually hit, I could probably hit the wall next to me and the mirror also. Uh, because yes, there's a mirror in the in the toilet. So let me just confirm it. Okay, so now I'm inside the home. Uh, let me, I'm, I'm not gonna play super hot VR or any game that's really, you know, 
really huge but anyway let's just do some tilt brush I just wanted to do a test and show you uh, what it would be like you know whether you wanted to take a break and you thought oh maybe I go to the toilet and play some quests you know yeah I'm sure I can do it uh, but basically you need to find a toilet I will ask the flight attendant if there's a bigger toilet maybe in the business class or something uh, but you know I don't fly business class honestly speaking I, I just fly you know normal so um, but you know if you're business I, I will ask but I don't care I don't promise okay I'm in tilt brush now Wow. drawing a little man so this is fantastic I mean okay I have to look outside of my helmet uh, sorry not helmet VR headset um, to see what I'm doing so I don't knock on things but you know it's great the fact that I can actually let me just bring the drawing down fire okay let me bring it back so I mean it's one meter but I'm still able to you know to draw something um, so that's pretty cool okay nice so I just wanted to give you some, um, you know, something you can do. Uh, it's, the Oculus Quest is, is really not user friendly to use for watching, you know, movies and all that kind of thing. I was using the Oculus Go in my seat where I was watching content and playing games. It, the Oculus Go is fantastic, but the Oculus Quest, as you can see, I, I, I can't see my boundary. Oh, just saw my boundary just there because of the mirror maybe. Um, but I can't see my boundary, so I've got to be very careful. Uh, you definitely need a bigger, you know, a bigger toilet space um, and uh, or bigger space in general if you're not going to use the plane. Uh, and I would definitely not play things like, uh, you know, Super Hot or Tennis or any game like that. Definitely do not do that. Oh my God, don't do that. All right, let's uh, get out of here. Oof. All right. That was such an unbelievable experience. I have to admit, being in the toilet, even though it's really small, Doing the tilt brush and everything actually felt amazing to be in six degrees of freedom on the plane. But since this video, there have been some updates on the Oculus Quest. So I think we should address these because here's how you can actually enhance your experience on the plane even more. Uh, the first thing is you can go to your settings and click on floor level so that you can reset the floor level. Uh, that is very useful, especially as sometimes when you do the tracking at the beginning, when you launch the Quest, it's not at the floor where it's supposed to be. You can bend down with the headset to the ground to uh, so the trackers can actually go further below. That works for me quite a lot if I have any issues. But generally speaking, I just go into floor level, click there on the settings, and then it will do it automatically for me. So that's one of the things. The second thing that they've done also is you can actually switch off the tracking completely on the Oculus Quest. So effectively, the Oculus Quest now is like an Oculus Go as well. So that means you have three degrees of freedom. You can't walk in virtuality or bend or do all these things. You can only move up or down or left or right, and that's it. So it's really good if you have no lighting conditions, for example, or you want to watch some movies uh, using your Oculus Quest in the complete darkness. Now you can do that. I just want to mention very quickly that if you're someone who's a bit like me, who doesn't really enjoy flying that much, then taking your VR headset will definitely enhance your experience. In fact, now I enjoy flying more because I know I can take my Oculus Go with me or my Oculus Quest and just have a great time. So guys, I'm also very excited because as you know, we're doing a giveaway on the channel. I'm giving away this brand new unsealed Oculus Go, a 64 gigabyte worth 399 Singapore dollars. This is open to everyone all over around the world no matter where you are, I will send this to you completely free uh, and we will do a live stream upon hitting the 1000 subs. Okay, so you have one chance in a thousand, pretty cool odds, right? So you know what to do. All you need to do is just subscribe and share the channel to as many people as possible or as many people you feel is relevant uh, so that of course we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy and DJ Q Music.